Now, what is Iron Man actually made of? You might be thinking, well, it's obvious, it's iron, because it's in his name, right? Well, you'd be wrong, I'm afraid. Even in the first film, they realised that iron would be rubbish, because it's not very strong, it's really heavy, and, of course, it also rusts, which isn't a good look. Do you think this is going to happen in sort of a generation or not? Well, I know some of them are trying to do it in 10 years, and I think that's a bit too ambitious, and, and they haven't really thought about things. In fact, uh, one of them I know doesn't plan on sending them back again, so it's sort of oh, like yes, a one-way It was a one-way ticket, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, and, you know, that's the case, as I said before, it's, <laughs> it's even if you get there alive, then you're going to have to die on that planet, which is sort of a bit grim, I think. Maybe kids who are watching this now, yes. they, in their lifetime, they, they could see someone set foot on Mars. Most scientists believe the Earth will be swallowed up. The planet's sole legacy being a 0.01% rise in the sun's metallicity. That's the stuff not made out of hydrogen and helium. And that will be the end of the world. So what you're seeing behind me is the sun. It probably looks a bit different from how you see it from everyday life, but this is just in different wavelengths of light. And it shows us more about what the sun actually does and the stuff that it throws at us all the time. Come on, Martin. I mean, this is science fiction. The idea that... We can I mean, send... We're, yeah, but we're we not... Can, we're we've not, sent Curiosity rover there and we're not sending... Yeah, we're but asking that's not, not the same send, thing as having a little petrol factory kind of thing. We've I mean, demonstrated all this technology on Earth. We've demonstrated that we can send very sophisticated vehicles and land them safely on Mars. So it's not a stretch to say that we could do this. Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment and it goes like this. If I take a box and in it I put a radioactive source which is somehow linked to a flask of poison. Now when the radioactive source decays it's going to release the poison. What if I were then to put a cat in that box and put the lid on it? Now Schrodinger argued that because the radioactive source is made of atoms then it's dictated by quantum mechanics and because we're not observing it with the lid on the top then it will be in a state of superposition. It will be decayed and not decayed at the same time. But of course that's going to have implications on the cat, meaning the cat will be both dead and alive at the same time. To world leaders everywhere I say this, if your nation is attacked by giant monsters do not spend billions creating giant robots to fight them. Just wait for them to pass out. It'll only be about 15 minutes.